Hello, gentlemen and boys and girls, right? Uh, welcome back to Nigel from nigelshua.com. Today, I want to share with you four profitable side hustles that you can start in the remaining half of 2022. As I'm recording this right now, it's coming to the end of June 2022. So, the half of the year is just zoom by. And the other half of the year, you do you have time to create this any of these four profitable side hustles? Of course. That's what I'm sharing there with you, right? So, um, one of the easiest things, the low-hanging fruits that I, I always share with people, uh, the app-based services that you can get immediately involved with. These are like your you know, food delivery services, like being in part of Uber Eats, DoorDash, you know, Grab Food, you know, um, where you provide the transportation service of food from the restaurant or the cafe to the buyer, the consumer, okay? Um, the good thing about this kind of uh, food, they tend to not have that much high needs of your vehicle. Um, you, with a motorbike, a motorcycle, a motorbike, motorcycle, same thing, bicycle, even, you know, walking. I, I, I Because, you know, I work full-time, I have kids, you know, so I, I can be quite busy at work and with children. So I order food, right? And I have a couple of times with people who live nearby, who pick up by foot. That means they pick up my order and they walk over to me. You know, could I do it myself? Could I just walk across the road and come back? Of course I can. Well, it's not across the road. It's 10 minutes walk away, 15 minutes. But when you have kids with you and you have um, deadlines and you have work, sometimes it, you, I will just pay for the convenience, you know. So de uh, delivering food, can be fairly easy to do. And why I call this low-hanging fruit is because um, that's really, it's quite easy to do in the sense that you, all you have to do is download the app, make sure that the app, uh, the service is in your area, right? If you up, subscribe, apply for it, you know, get approved, and then look for the jobs that comes in and then just click, you want to do it. And then actually do it, right? It's really easy when the clients are provided to you and the, the products are provided to you and you just have to do the delivery. It's literally pick up an item and drop off somewhere else. The same thing goes for Uber, Lyft, um, Grab uh, Car, Grab Taxi. That one, or this kind of Uber, Lyft is transporting people. You definitely need a decent uh, vehicle, be it a car or be it a van or be it like a sedan, right? You don't. You probably need, like I said, you probably need a better vehicle because you need to drive people to and fro, and you need to make sure they're hygiene. If your vehicles are nice smelling, it's clean. There's no pests. Or if you don't want to deal with humans, right? You instead of dealing with food, you can deal it with the uh, parcels. In Singapore, there's this company called Lala Move, or I can't remember you parcel where you can you also if you don't want to deliver food, you don't want to deliver people. You can deliver parcels, you can deliver checks, you can deliver documents, right? Anything that's uh, non-food and non-human. There's a lot of this kind of um, app-based services that you can be part of. And um, because there's, anybody can do this, anybody with a certain vehicle or certain energy can do this, so there's more competition, but it's really easy to just squeeze in a couple of jobs in a day. So you can probably make maybe 20, 40, if you're really hardworking, 100 plus a day, you know? And can you make a full-time income from it? Assuming 3K is a full-time income per month? Yeah, you can. You know, it's really work. And I like it because it's really easy. You can squeeze in, into part of your daily routine or you can pick up a couple more jobs over the weekend, you know, just to pay off Netflix or some stuff that you you save up for. And it's easy, right? That's low-hanging fruit number one. Consider app-based services. Um, number two is what, one of my one of my favorites, okay? Um, is to create a website. Combine this with affiliate marketing, marketing, right? So affiliate marketing is basically um, recommending a product to somebody else. And if they buy it, the merchant will pay you a small commission, okay? So this works really well if you are a decent writer. So let's say you have, you have, you have a website. So like my website is called nicehaw.com. And on my website, I write about passive income. I talk about investments. I talk about entrepreneurship, right? And then I have certain products that I recommend. Okay, my website is hosted by Wealthy Affiliate. So you can use, if you, if you want to use my link, okay, you can go to nicehaw.com slash Wealthy Affiliate. I'll put a link in the show notes, right? Or in the notes below. Um, and what happens is that you can host your website there with them and um, 
then you have, you can choose a product uh, a niche that you like. For example, I like entrepreneurship, passive income, investment. Right? Entrepreneurship. That's my thing. I, 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 I like it a lot. It just makes me happy. I've been doing it for two, since 2008 and I still like it. But maybe you're not like me and, most, and you don't have to choose this path. Maybe you like soccer, you know, football. Let's call it football, right? Maybe you like football and you can write a website. You can write stuff all about football. You know, you can talk about the games, the gameplay, the strategy. And then how to make money? You can slap ads on it. You can uh, do reviews for specific gears. Let's say for specific helmets, for specific boots, socks, you know, merchandising. And then you can get a small commission for every one of it. Okay. The downside about this um, website building affiliate marketing is that it takes time. Unlike the first one that I shared with you just now, you know, download the app, the, the low, low hanging fruit, download the app, subs, uh, apply for it, and then you can start making money probably within a week. Websites take around 18 months, you know, to 24 months. That's one and a half to two years before you could see your first dollar. Okay. And, but on the upside is that the website becomes a very powerful tool that, is, that belongs to you. The app doesn't belong to you. They can ban you, buy you anytime, you know. But your website belongs to you. For example, najichua.com belongs to me, you know, and nobody can take it away from me. You know what I mean? And then people may come, come up to you and offer you opportunities. Uh, I have people coming to me and telling me that, oh, Nigel, can you uh, share our products and we we'll give you a commission? I'm selective and I haven't done it for a long time. So I'm very selective on, on what I allow on my website. But it gives me more power, more control. And there's no cap about how much I can earn. For example, back to the example just now, right? This example here. Okay, this low hanging fruit, how many, de how many deliveries can you do a day, right? Five, 10, 15, depending whether you're full time, part time, right? And it's very dependent on your work. It's fast. You can earn money immediately, very fast, which is maybe between 30 to 100 bucks plus a day, fast, which is important as well. This is slow. But it when it when it picks up speed, it will be mm, it will fly. There's no cap how much you want to earn once you have pick up speed. I I have met I I have you read about people like Smart Passive Income Pat Flynn right? He was making first a couple of grand a month. Then was making ten grand ish. Then was making hundred grand a month. A month. It's crazy. Cool in a good way, right? So it just takes a lot of time. So if you want quick money. Building a website isn't for you, but you have the patience to grow it. There is a lot of opportunity being building your own website and being an affiliate marketer. Okay? Affiliate marketer is affiliate marketing is great because you don't have to create your own products, you sell another person's products. And again, as I said, the merchant will pay you a a small commission when that when that happens. Okay, that's number two. Okay, I'll add the link in the show 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 notes at the bottom later. Um number three, buy low, sell high. This is the evergreen um old classic way. Um, if you have the, the pension and the eye for collectibles or for things that have value, right? You can just buy low, sell high. An example is um, furniture. Maybe many people throw out furniture if they move house or they're upgrading or they're downsizing or there's divorce and sometimes they just don't want to deal with it. Just, just throw it all away. You can scoop it up for cheap or free. And then you can really you can list it on platforms like eBay, platforms like Facebook groups, you know, or you have your own list of people that you can sell to. And it's, the process is the same, be it for furniture or for Pokemon cards, for watches, even for perishable like fruits, right? So it, this is also really fast to do, okay? Um, and it's really lucrative, especially if you know what you're doing. Okay, that's the caveat. That's the key thing, okay? You got to know what you're doing. That's number one. Number two is that uh, oftentimes it requires you to fork out money first. You won't get Pokemon cards, Pokemon cards for free unless you just find it by luck. You won't get watches for free. Often you have to hunt for them. You have to look for places where it's like a flea market or where people are disposing of certain things. You have to have the eye to hunt for it and the cash to probably buy it, right? And sometimes you have to hold it for some time. And sometimes it doesn't work. For example, if you let's say you buy fruits and just it just so happened that you can't sell. You gotta eat the fruits or you gotta give it away. So there are costs to it. There's risk to it. But if you buy non-perishable, for example, Pokemon cards. 
which are great because they're so thin, right? And easy to transport around. Those are okay. Furniture is sort of okay, but it can be heavy. Okay, watches are also pretty okay. I don't like perishables. I like to eat perishables, but I don't like to trade perishables. It's tough. But this is all as goal story. Buy low, sell high. My wife does this really well. She, you know, we have three kids. So she will buy the baby carriers, baby wraps. And, she, and, she, and to give it a, a simple story, a, big, a simple example is that she will buy one for 100, use it, and make sure it's clean and sell it for 100 and or higher. Can you imagine? She buys it for 100, use it and sell it back for 100, or sell it for a profit. She's brilliant, you know? And some of you who have the eye for this kind of thing, who are deep into, into things, you can do this as well. Ideally, you are already interested in it and good in it. And you probably can make quite quick money, you know? All you got to do is to make sure that you have your eyes and ears on places where there's opportunities that you like, right? It can be Pokemon cards, as I mentioned. It can be watches. It can be cars, you know? Can uh, I, don't, I don't like phones. So uh, collectibles will be the way for this, this mode. And the last side hustle that you can create is um, convenience to use services. And people are always willing to pay for convenience. It's because either they, they don't want to deal with it, they have no time for it, or they this are the two key, key thing, or they're too busy to no time, right? So the first one is that if you can do uh, tutoring, you can if you can teach you can teach languages, you can teach a specific skill for the mathematics, right? You can teach people how to um start an online business, right? Or you can teach a specific subject in sc for schools, okay? That's one way. Then you go to the house. The other way, if you're handy with your hands and you have, you can be a handyman, right? Change, changing light bulbs, helping to fix fans, clock toilet. You have these kind of skills. I tell you, people are really willing to pay because sometimes they just don't want to get their hands uh, uh, filled with uh, toilet water or with shit water, right? They, they're willing to pay, pay you the convenient, inconvenience. Uh, save me. I don't want to pay money to get my hand dirty. Sure. And it's... It has happened for and it will still continue to happen. Handyman is really in demand. It's all evergreen. From uh, changing toilet bowl, cha changing the sink, clock toilet bowls, you know, changing water heater, fixing changing light bulbs, fixing changing fans. So many things can you can help around with, you know, seriously. So that's one of the convenience services that you can provide for people. Um, if you are a you have interest in cooking. Baking, uh, uh, cooking will be great because as people get busier, as they go back to office, they go back to work, and they want healthy, you can prepare bento sets, you know, lunch sets, lunch and dinner sets, right? Where you send the food to their house for the day, for the week. It, it can be a subscription model, right? Of course, you want to make sure that you you cover all the ingredient costs, you know, uh, delivery costs, packaging costs, you know, everything must be factored in and make sure you're profitable, right? And these are all very personal. That means that you got to reach out to your community, you know, talk to people in your community because most of the time you're going to serve people in your community. And of course, pet sitting, you know. Who who doesn't like pets? I enjoy dogs. I, I don't really, have not really had much experience with cats. But people will pay you money to take care of, the, of their pets. You know, you can do dog walking, dog sitting. Sometimes, some people want to travel overseas or travel away for a while. They can leave their dogs or their cats or whatever pets with you for a while. And they'll pay you for it to take good care of their pets. You know, and there's so many convenient to use services and that you can consider. And you can, that this one also you can start today. Again, there's only so much you can charge, but these are evergreen demands that people will always need. Right? So these are the four profitable side hustles that you can do in 2022. You can start now. Start earning more. Right? So that's all I have for you for today. Take care. Bye. Do your profitable side hustles, okay? Take care. See ya. Bye.